Excitement is in the air as Prince George, the eldest son of the Prince and Princess of Wales, gears up for a significant milestone in his young life. Kensington Palace has officially announced that Prince William will be flying solo to Singapore on November 7, while Princess Catherine stays back in Windsor to provide much-needed support to their eldest son, Prince George. The reason Prince George is set to take his entry exams, a crucial step that will shape his future education and determine the senior school he attends when he turns 13. The upcoming months are pivotal for Prince George, who, at the tender age of 10, is preparing for a series of entry exams that will lay the foundation for his educational journey. These exams are conducted in three phases, with George tackling the first two next month. The initial test will feature an ISCB examination, a comprehensive multiple-choice assessment focusing on verbal reasoning, nonverbal reasoning, mathematics, and English. This rigorous exam, spanning two and a half hours, is usually held in October or November. The results are standardized and age-adapted to ensure fairness. In addition, Eton College, where Prince George is eyeing admission, will request a report from his school's head teacher. This report will delve into George's academic strengths, character, and personal interests, with the results expected to be unveiled in December. Born in July, Prince George will face the second phase of exams in either early April or late May of the following year. This stage involves an individual interview and an online predictive test of academic aptitude and potential, both taking place at Eton College. The results of these exams are anticipated to reach the palace by July 2024. Successful candidates will receive a conditional offer, and then be required to pass a common entrance exam in year 8. Drawing from family history, Prince George's father, Prince William, sat the common entrance exam in 1995 and was admitted to the college in June of the same year, with his younger brother, Prince Harry, following suit in 1998. Nowadays, students like George, who receive conditional offers based on their year 6 exams, revisit the school and select a boarding house in year 7, the year before the common entrance test. While the palace typically announces the results of royal exams promptly, Eton College has a policy of not disclosing individual scores or exam outcomes. However, back in 1998, the palace proudly proclaimed that Harry had passed with flying colours. Melanie Sanderson from the Good Schools Guide highlighted the significance of Prince George's approaching exams on Hello. Essay Right Royal Podcast She emphasized that even if George faced challenges during the process, he would be expected to adhere to the established protocols, as the royal family is committed to tradition. Eton College's strong track record in security and experience in accommodating royal students from around the world make it a favoured choice. Eton College, currently under the leadership of a progressive headmaster, offers a unique blend of tradition and modernity. The school's diverse range of activities includes sports, music, arts, and crafts. Whether it's playing football or polo, crafting silver, singing in choirs, or mastering instruments like the violin, bagpipes, or harp, Eton College provides ample opportunities for students to explore their interests. For the royal family, Eton College holds a special allure due to its heritage, tradition, and a balanced blend of traditional values and progressive education. Its proximity to Windsor Castle, where the Cambridge family resides, adds to its appeal. Moreover, Eton College has relaxed its boarding policies, allowing mothers to visit their children for a coffee or tea on the high street and permitting overnight stays during weekends, provided the housemaster approves. As Prince George embarks on this pivotal journey, all eyes are on the young royal as he steps into the world of academia, ready to make his mark while upholding cherished traditions. <laughs>